because Lars Nyberg is the company's chief executive officer, joins us live now from Stockholm. Lovely to have you on the program. And so can shareholders be absolutely certain that this is the end of the dispute or are there more issues still to be addressed, still to be resolved? Well, I don't think you can ever be totally sure it's the end of the dispute, but of, of course this is a resolution we've been looking for for years and I'm extremely pleased with it and I, I trust we'll have a good partnership with AF Telecom when it comes to Megaphone. Uh, now, you're receiving some $3.3 billion in dividends and proceeds from the share sale uh, of an indirect stake of some 8.2% uh, in Megaphone to AF Telecom. I'm just wondering what plans you have in terms of investing that cash? Well, I think uh, we are receiving liquidity for the first time in uh, 20 years, actually. The Megaphone is a fantastic, successful story, but we have actually never seen much cash from it. Now we see a lot of cash short term, but also medium term and long term. In the short term, uh, I think we will reduce debt. In the longer term, this will uh, give us uh, and the board more flexibility. So with that, how might, you, uh, how might you use that flexibility in terms of your growth strategy, in terms of mergers and acquisitions? Well, I mean, uh, we have a yield already of more than 6%. Um, we have a history that we have paid out one-time dividend now and then. So that's one opportunity for the board. But uh, I think the board uh, will take some time to think it over and see what the alternatives are. How does this affect the ongoing dispute? I mean, there have been similar disputes with, Tur with Turkcell, haven't there? Could it partially cash out in a similar way to resolve uh, those problems? Well, I'm extremely happy that we have resolved one of the two big disputes we've had for years. Uh, and correctly, we have one left, and that's Turkcell. Um, uh, Altimo, who exits Megaphone, is our partner uh, in, uh, in Turkcell, and um, I am optimistic that we will also be able to resolve Turkcell one day. What is Megaphone's advantage against the other two incumbents? I'm just wondering, will it give Telesinera the growth that a telecoms company is always looking for in what is a really tough market for this industry right now? Well, I think Megaphone's strength uh, is that they are clearly the leader in, in mobile data in, in, in Russia. I think the challenge for, for all three players, there are three big players in, in, in Russia, is how to monetize uh, uh, that, that growth. And they have made significant investments. And, and having resolved the dispute is going to be really uh, relieving to be able to talk about the, uh, the business issues that, that Megaphone is, is uh, is facing, uh, and I think Telia Sonera, having the experience we have, uh, is a good partner for AF Telecom to have those discussions. All right, Lars Nyberg, Chief Executive Officer, Telia Sonera in Stockholm. Thanks very much. Really good to get your reaction to this story.